Hello and welcome to the latest episode of The Board Masters with me, Chris Mullins, and today I will be reviewing Mousetrap. Following on from our playthrough video last week, this is the latest in the, the Alex's favourite family game series. And so I'm just going to work my way through it, basically. Uh, as always, my interviews have the same structure, so we cover the same five topics, so art and theme, components, accessibility, replayability and gameplay. So let's dive into it with Mousetrap. As you can see, in terms of the art style, it's very fun and bright. There's nothing particularly outstanding or beautiful about it, but it does establish it as a fun, simple game. There isn't really much of a theme, other than the fact you're mice trying to get cheese and escape being tra trapped, but it is good fun with that. In terms of the components, I think it's really good, especially when you consider the price point. Again, it's a £20 game, but... I really, I mean, the big marble run is always going to be cool. I mean, I grew up at an age where marble runs were still a big part of sort of growing up. It was a favourite toy growing up. I loved marble runs. So having a board game that showcases that is always going to be fun. And the mice figures are really cute as well. Um, it's just the cardboard cheese tokens that are, are incredibly basic, but, you know, You've got to have compromises somewhere, and obviously the money goes into the marble run itself. Uh, in terms of accessibility, obviously it's a pretty cheap game, so there's no obstacle there. The gameplay is next to no skill whatsoever. It's very, very basic and almost entirely luck-based, so again, no obstacle. You don't have to learn the game, really. Um, there's... A bit of hassle in terms of setting it up and tearing it down. I mean, it's always tricky trying to get it back in the box at the end of the game. And setting it up can be a bit fiddly, but again, it's not too bad. In terms of replayability, there is no inbuilt replayability, really. There's certainly nothing that's going to give you a variable experience each time. It is the same game every time you play it. It's just the dice rolls that are going to be different. And that obviously feeds then into the replayability that the gameplay is fun. It's incredibly shallow though, so your mileage on the replayability is basically just going to be how long you enjoy the game for. And for me, having Alex makes it far more fun because again, just playing a game with a fun, awesome little man makes everything more enjoyable. Uh, and on to the gameplay, as I've already touched on, it is very basic. It's basically entirely luck driven. You just roll dice and then do what the square you land on tells you to do. There is some slight decision making to do in terms of when you're choosing. Not so much when you have to steal a cheese, because generally you just steal from whoever's got the most. But in terms of who you want to trap, that because if you successfully set the trap off then you get to steal a cheese from them but also if it's early in the game if you're trapping the person with the most cheese then you're putting them closer to the end of the round and the first mouse to finish a round gets two free cheese so there's an element of do i go for the one with the most cheese do i go for the one who's closer to getting those two free cheese uh, so there is some decision making but again it's not too in depth or strategic or anything is it's basically those two options um i don't know when i was i'm sure when i was a kid i remember that you built the marble run as you went you landed on spaces or got cards and it told you to add the next bit which was a bit a lot more fun because you could see it coming together and it built the tension as the the trap was nearly finished but i may be completely misremembering that it may have just been the setup that i'm thinking of uh, whereas with this, it is completely set up and yeah, you just go around the board and you either get a free cheese, give one up, steal one, trap someone or nothing. Okay, but that's basically it really. Um, in terms of my score, if I was basing it just on the gameplay, it would probably just be a six. Like I said, it is very shallow and there's not really any decisions or anything to make and there's no really fun mechanics as such like in Jumanji had the fast dice rolling Nino Kuni 2 has the beautiful art and the cooperative nature was really fun uh, whereas this doesn't have that but I'd probably give it a six and a half because I 
we'll always love the marble run and it does look cool on the table when you've got it all set up and that does help the experience and that is a plus point for me so i'm yeah i'll give it a six and a half overall and that's my review of mousetrap so again check out the gameplay video on the link down below uh, it is always good fun watching alex i love editing the stuff that he's in and i'm going to leave it there so thank you for watching look after yourself have a good one and stay safe bye bye now